both TJ Del Santo and Brittany Trumpy in this morning with the very latest on the storm. I'll let you guys take it away. Thanks, Pat. We are looking at uh, some big time snow amounts on the way for tomorrow. Could be measured in feet. Get the yardstick out yeah. as that's what we could be, uh, be measuring uh, the snow with tomorrow. Yeah, and a few quick changes to what we saw yesterday evening. Some of those watches and warnings have been changed over. We're dealing with now a winter storm warning for the bulk of our area. We also have that blizzard warning uh, out towards the Cape that includes the vineyard and kind of stretches up towards Boston. But yeah, for the bulk of our area, still dealing with that winter storm warning, including Block Island. We're going to uh, start to see uh, conditions deteriorate as early as later on this evening with a few snow showers. TJ is going to give you a little bit of an update of what we're expecting with that. Yeah, there's been a few flurries around this morning, Brittany, but nothing uh, overly consequential. Lots of clouds out there for sure. Might actually find some more flurries around uh, this afternoon. You can see it's just a, a smattering of uh, snow across the region. Threat tracker for today is pretty quiet. So if you have to make any uh, last minute errands hitting the store, supermarket, Probably not advisable, but if you need the uh, uh, any supplies, uh, it's just fine today for that. Now, tomorrow, we're looking at heavy snow, strong winds, very difficult travel pretty much the entire day. And that will spill over into Sunday. Now, on Sunday, we're not looking at any snow falling, but the roads will likely be snow covered, especially side streets, that kind of a thing. We'll have some gusty winds and likely some blowing snow. We're expecting a really fluffy snow, so it'll be blowing around a lot during the storm and after. Temperatures right now, upper 20s in Smithfield, 29 Providence, 30 in Newport. Over in New Bedford, we're at 29 degrees. Here's Newport looking at uh, some cloudy skies, snow, snowflakes here, 30 degrees. Winds currently are calm in the city by the sea. So where is the storm right now? It's still kind of taking shape down here off the uh, southeastern United States coastline, area of low pressure there. Um, we also have a cold front that's pushing into the northeast. We're getting what we call a fresh injection of cold air into southern New England, and that will help to create the snow. And that storm system rides up the coastline through the daytime today. See all that moisture streaming northward. This this is 7 o'clock this evening. Locally, it could be a few flurries around, maybe a few snow showers, but the real bulk of the snow begins to arrive closer to midnight, becomes heavy at times by tomorrow morning. That snow heavy at times into the afternoon hours, and it begins to taper off, I think, during the evening hours, and the winds begin to quiet down as well, at least in our area. So for this morning, Forecast looks quiet, cloudy skies, maybe a few flakes here and there. Temperatures climbing back through the 20s, getting into the low to mid 30s this afternoon. Could be a few snow showers around around 6 o'clock this evening with temperatures around 30 degrees. All right, the million dollar question, how much? significant if not major amount of uh, snow expected 18 to 24 inches Rhode Island nearby Massachusetts and as I mentioned earlier wouldn't surprise me south of Boston Plymouth County maybe out to Taunton more than two feet of snow falls so yeah we're looking at a lot of snow and as I mentioned a lot of this is going to be the really fluffy snow you could probably almost use a snow blower to get rid of it uh, in addition to the snow we're looking at really strong wind gusts most of Rhode Island 40 45 mile an hour wind gusts expected, uh, especially during the afternoon and into the early evening hours as the storm gets a little closer. 50, 50 to 55 mile an hour gusts. Uh, South Coastal Rhode Island and Massachusetts, including New Bedford, Newport, Narragansett, Block Island. But out in the Cape, 55, 65 mile an hour gusts. Wouldn't surprise me. There's some gusts of 70 miles an hour out across Cape Cod. This is really why we're expecting blizzard conditions across eastern Massachusetts and especially on the Cape. So with that in mind, the power outage potential is highest out across Cape Cod and the islands where the winds will be the strongest. As you saw, winds gusting up to 65 miles an hour, maybe even some higher gusts. Uh, it's a fluffy snow. It's not necessarily going to be sticking on the trees as much. And although we have a lot of wind, we're looking only maybe a, a moderate chance of power outages across Rhode Island and nearby Massachusetts. Plan for power outages, though. Make sure you have batteries and uh, gas for any generators that you might use. Here's that 
seven day forecast. We are looking at a chance for some uh, snow really throughout the entire day. Tomorrow, then Sunday, looks to be a lot quieter, although cold, six degrees in the morning, getting up to about 26 degrees in the afternoon. The next few days after that, pretty quiet. Could be looking at some showers and warmer conditions by the end of next week with temperatures in the 50s. That full forecast always at WPRI.com. Let's get another look.